Um, do you plan on having kids? Yeah, yes. Possibly in the future. Yes. 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 I would want to have kids. I think so, yeah. Possibly, um... <laughs> I do, yes. 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 I do. yes. Yes. Would you take time off work to take care of them? Yes. Probably. Yeah. No. No. Yes. I think I would definitely um, take some time off work. I'd take time off work at the general maternity leave. But I would do it part time. But that burden always falls on us and able to be more than it does on men. So I would want to wait because I first want to build myself before I sit at home. I don't think my sole purpose is to be a mother. And I really want to have a proper career still. Um, because being a woman, you're seen as like kind of under many men often. Just like kind of subtle. A lot of these things are so ingrained in us that we actually impose them on ourselves as well. Well, it goes down to patriarchy that a woman comes into a position of leadership. It, it really, it disrupts the dichotomy of you know, the assertive male and the submissive woman. Um, it comes at a cost to come across as assertive for a woman. Suddenly when women take charge, it just becomes something that maybe is unattractive or unladylike. You know, being soft-spoken and kind of letting others take the lead doesn't achieve anything. You don't want to exert the same force as a man is allowed to because when you do that, like, you're a bitch, so you don't want to be that person. But at the same time, if you're too soft, then you prove them right and you prove that whole idea of like, oh, women aren't strong enough. They like have many negative connotations, whereas a man, if he's outspoken and everything, He's then seen as a very good leader and if like a man has a child, it's not like, oh, you're going to stay at home, how long are you going to take leave? Like that's not even a consideration for men, whereas for women it's always the first question. Men in engineering, they're much more confident to share their answers and be wrong, whereas we're very timid and like afraid to fail, afraid to be humiliated. They're so afraid to try and fail and make mistakes because I mean the backlash is just... Mm. I think the film and media industry is famously male dominant. In engineering, I think about one in every five people are girls. Women just aren't taken seriously. My mom, um, she was, uh, she's a doctor and she was always a working mom and she was always um, looked down on from the other mothers who did stay at home and there's an immense, that she wasn't giving enough attention to me. For me, it's not just the fact that I'm a woman, it's the fact that I'm a black woman, that I feel like those two identities cannot be divorced from one another. And I think culture yeah, makes a big difference in it as well. Matriar not matriarchal role, but like kind of become more domesticated. So for example, my brothers would carry on playing in the living room, whereas I'd have to go sit and tell my mom. Uh, you don't have to study too hard. Let's focus on the male, the head of the family. Send him to school. So we still do bridal dowries and, you know, paying for a woman to be in your family. And, I mean, factors that affect that price, for example, or how good a wife you are. You go to school, to school, but you have to learn how to cook, learn how to clean, because they expect you in the future to go to marry someone and be their wife. But they don't ask those questions at all with men. From a young age, that was instilled in me, and then when I think I turned 18, I told my dad that I don't ever want to have to do that full time for anyone. Work hard, but it's okay if you fail, kind of vibe. I believe in what I believe in. I love my culture, but there's certain elements of it that don't that haven't grown as people have grown and our, sta our understanding has grown and our freedoms have grown. Um, I also think again it's that cultural perception of a woman's role is not the workplace it's supposed to be at home. So you do find that a lot of women get to the point where they're educated but then those, those cultural pressures drag you right back. Obviously I don't agree that there's, so, like, there's such little women representation but at the same time I also acknowledge the fact that it's increasing mm. which is a good thing. And so hopefully in the future it increases more, so that would be a good thing. No, I think there's a lot of people now that are realising the potential of women and like the influence that they can have in a workplace. Maybe for a lot of women that idea of marrying, a, like marrying for stability is intrinsic in the way that we think, but I think a lot of women because of being made so aware of the fact that women have been oppressed like this have kind of broken them up like a lot of women these days kind of strive to be that breadwinner and to be independent because they want to go against that mindset.